Hi, welcome to the tutorial for copying media and what is known as the manifest in Cortex. I'm Ian, and today I'll be walking you through the different applications of the copy tool and the Cortex manifest. If you're not sure how to get started with Cortex, watch our project manager and workspaces tutorials at tutorials.mtifilm.com. When you open a new dailies job in Cortex, you'll typically want to bring in media for syncing and color. You can do that by importing media files and folders if they already live on your storage, or you can use Cortex's copy tool to offload media from the source to your destination and automatically import that media into the Cortex job. First, let's create a new Cortex job, and then within that job, create a new copy task. Set your media source location and primary storage destination along with adding volume names and barcodes to aid in file management. If you want to have two additional copies of your offloaded media, you can define two backup destinations right here. In the interest of turnaround time, Cortex can copy media to the primary destination first, and then use that copy to create additional backups while you swap your source media and run additional copy tasks. As mentioned, after each primary offload is complete, Cortex can then automatically import all copied media into its respective bin. Choose which type of hash will get generated, and Cortex will verify each file that's copied. If you have multiple copy tasks queued, and your hardware supports the required bandwidth, you can choose to run up to three concurrent copy tasks. Right-click on the active copy task, and choose how many tasks you'd like to run. Once the primary copy is complete, media is then imported into the clips bin ready for processing. The copy tool can also help you archive media that's contained in a job. In the Cortex job that you want to archive, create a new archive task. The archive task dialog is almost identical to the copy task. The source is set automatically based on the location of the media that exists inside that job. Choose your primary and optional backup destinations, choose your secondary options, and begin your archive. Cortex will then copy all media to the selected destinations, keeping the source folder structure intact, and then create a PDF archive report that contains pertinent metadata. That brings us to the use of the Cortex Manifest. The Cortex Manifest is a lightweight XML file that contains all metadata from a Cortex job. Things like clip data, sync info, color, LUT files, framing, everything needed to accurately recreate a job on another Cortex workstation that's not networked to the one that created the manifest. Using the job and media we just archived as an example, go back to the project manager and right click on the job you want to recreate elsewhere and choose Export Manifest. This manifest can then be copied onto the drive being used to transfer the media to the new Cortex system, or it can be emailed separately if needed. Then, when media and the manifest arrive at the new Cortex location, create a new job and copy the media like we did at the beginning of the tutorial. Once all the media has been copied to its new destination and imported into Cortex, we'll import the Cortex manifest. This is going to merge the manifest into the job and relink all the media it requires. You can then begin working, confident that your current job matches the one from the original Cortex system. And that's the tutorial for the Copy Tool and Cortex Manifest. To learn more fully about Cortex, please watch our other tutorials by going to tutorials.mtifilm.com. For support, to submit a help ticket, or to find other useful information about Cortex, please check out forum.mtifilm.com. Thanks.